Hi, welcome to EMS Today 2016. I'm Christina Ackerman from GEMS, here today with Dr. Keith Wesley. He's the medical director from Health East Ambulance in St. Paul, Minnesota. He's also a regular contributor to GEMS, so Keith, thanks for talking with us today. Thank you for having me. We're here in the water gel booth talking about burn treatment. Keith, can you tell us a little bit about what this product is? Well, what it is, very simply, is prepackaged, pre-moistened, burn dressings. Okay. Uh, we discussed this in our webinar uh, mm -hmm. last month, mm -hmm. uh, looking at what this, the role of, of this uh, uh, product is uh, in, in EMS and looking at some of the paradigm shifts that need to occur uh, mm -hmm. with our providers in the treatment uh, of burns. Uh, the, the number one paradigm shift is the concept of, of, of not doing what mom always did with a burn and mm -hmm. that's cool it. Uh, our uh, most uh, uh, the burn centers have, uh, you know, their primary uh, concern has been uh, for the fear of hypothermia that the patients could get too cold, mm -hmm. and so because of that, uh, most protocols across the country for burn uh, care involve just applying a dry dressing mm -hmm. uh, to a burn. You know, if you've gotten a scald burn or any other type of burn, and you were to either put on just a, you know, wrap it with that. Mm -hmm. versus put that. Oh, wow. And this that is, is really cold. And this has been sitting here at, at room temperature mm -hmm. for a couple of hours. Yeah, that is really and, cool. And so you can imagine what yeah. that does to the burn. Here, we'll, we'll clean you Thank off you. a little bit. Thank you. I appreciate that. And, I mean, it's 96% water. Uh, what the, the process uh, of applying this is, again, very similar to what we do by, you know, initially cooling a burn uh, under uh, kind of ambient temperature water, not real mm -hmm. cold uh, water, uh, but then now we have to move the patient from the scene of the accident uh, to the hospital. Mm -hmm. And so what are we going to do during that next 20, 30 minutes uh, to get them to the hospital um, in, uh, to, to just simply cover it with a, a, a dry dressing? You're not doing anything to, to continue to reduce the burn. Mm -hmm. And the data shows from research on, on burns is that the longer the burn, uh, the, that even when we withdraw the, the patient away from the source of the burn, the burn continues to burn. You know, we feel mm -hmm. the burn, mm -hmm. and as long as there's heat in the wound, uh, it's actually making the injury worse. And so if we can continue the cooling mm -hmm. of the burn all the way to definitive care, uh, the patients will do better. And so using uh, a product like this uh, and then uh, keeping the, the wound covered, you can feel how that, that heat is just going to transfer out of the wound uh, into the burn dressing and then be able to be radiated off from the, from the body in, you know, in a somewhat controlled uh, manner. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's really the biggest paradigm shift that this product offers to, to EMS is that there is in fact things that we can do for burn patients sure. more than just simply covering it uh, with gauze. Um, the types of burns that it uh, can be used on are essentially any type of burn. Mm -hmm. You can get a flame burn or a scald burn, a radiant burn. Uh, you can get a burn from you know, friction burns. And you've, we've seen patients uh, you know, who have ridden their motorcycles across the ground and get the friction burns. Mm -hmm. Again, the same type of uh, product can be applied to those mm -hmm. uh, with the same uh, results. So you're an advocate of having this on every ambulance. Oh, I am absolutely an advocate. Uh, we've been using this at, at Health East now for about two and a half years, uh, and the uh, responses from our providers uh, and our patients uh, clearly indicates that the patients feel more comfort, uh, their pain is much more reduced. I mean, you can only, uh, you know, pain control in the pre-hospital environment is very important, but you can only give your patients so much morphine mm -hmm. or fentanyl mm -hmm. to control their pain. Uh, when it just seems so much uh, uh, common sense to let's apply the, mm -hmm. the pain control locally where the source of the pain is. You know. Well, it's great to hear that you're seeing such incredible results from having this small little kit on your, on your ambulances. It's uh, really going to change, and I think you're doing a great job in getting that paradigm shift started. Um, the other important thing about this product is that it has tailor-made size gauzes for facial burns, for mm. hand burns, okay. which allows you to uh, really be able to contour the dressing uh, around that face or in that hand because there's nothing more debilitating and you talk about long-term effects from from disfiguration of mm -hmm. a facial or hand burns sure. uh, they require a lot of rehab uh, and sometimes with good or bad results depending mm -hmm. on how well the burn was cared for initially well thank you so much for taking your time today to tell us more about this 
Um, if you would like to learn more about Water Gel's product, the website is watergelems.com. Thank you for joining us, Keith. Thank you.